Let's talk about the 10% savings rule. Now, before we get into that, here's the kind of funny concept. So I was talking to my staff the other day, and if you look at credit repair, credit repair is a tool that you can utilize to help fix your credit, but doesn't solve the problem. So then you move over to your financial structure. By solving your financial issues, your financial spending, the maybe your budgeting concerns that you have or issues, if you solve those, then you can save more money and, and uh, reduce your expenditures every month. And so then you take that concept and you think about, okay, you break it into two, money in, money out. So one of the concepts that is very popular um, for those that are trying to eventually create a really, really good budget for themselves and really be able to start to save money is what we call the 10% savings rule. And what that basically is, is taking 10% of your paycheck and putting it in some type of account. Now, ideally you wanna do this tax-free, so like a, a 401k account or maybe a mutual fund or IRA, being able to put it in some type of account that's going to uh, give you the full benefits without taking taxes out, you can do that. I would talk to maybe your HR department and see what your options are. Um, to save tax-free money. Uh, now, a lot of that money you're not gonna be able to touch, which is the whole purpose of this. If you save 10% of your paycheck every single month, a couple things happen. Number one, that money grows faster than you realize. Number two is it's not gonna make or break you like you think. And sometimes it's it's altering our budget to make sure that that 10% is not gonna affect us, especially those that need 10% out of their paycheck every month to make ends meet. Sometimes it's just a budgeting issue. But the most important thing that I realized after doing this for three months originally, is after a while, you just don't even notice it out of your paycheck because you get used to changing your spending habits to your adjusted income. And so if you take 10%, the easiest way to do it is just ask your HR company or whoever, whatever payroll company you use and ask them to take 90% of your income and keep it in the same bank account, direct deposit that you normally utilize. But then say, I want to take 10% of my check and send it to this other bank account. And I've used other methods like finding a bank that's, you know, an hour away from your house. It's small. You don't have access to it. And they just deposit it in that account so you can never take that money out. Because the biggest, most important thing there is don't save if you're just going to take the money out. Like you have to get away from that. It's a horrible spending uh, way to budget and you have to just say goodbye to this money. And then what you're gonna find is as that account grows, you're gonna be really excited that you did this and you're gonna wish you would have done it sooner.